four Belvedere Valentinis for four beautiful ladies. Thank you. I want to make a toast. Yes. We may not have everything we want uh, at the moment, but we do have each other. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Oh. King of this is fabulous. Oh. Okay, let's get down Praises. to business. Where are the brothers? Yeah. Thank huh? you. Where's the eye uh -oh. candle? Ooh, honey. <laughs> okay, Shantae. Oh, my God. And that is why we are the 42.4%. What? 42.4% of black women have never been married. I read that article. It didn't say we'd never get married. It just said we haven't yet to. Okay, so when is it going to happen in the afterlife? Please. <laughs> well, even if 42.4% of us never get married, that still means 57.6% of us will, and that's a substantially greater percentage. Thank you, Miss Numbers Queen. It's very impressive. However, those odds are completely against us. It says the phenomenon is most acute among African-American women who are educated professionals. Judge, accountant, banker, pediatrician, that BS. I'm just tired of being classified as a victim. Oh. Single black professional woman destined to be unhappy and alone. I mean, I just have to keep believing. I'll find the one. True. I don't even need all that. I just want a good brother. That's right. He doesn't have to make a lot of money, so long as he's got a job. Yes, yes He just has to yes. be taller than me, college educated, and not mm -hmm. crazy. No kids, good teeth, mm -hmm. and no kinky sex. I mean, I like to switch it up a bit, but, you know, what? You're doing it again. The list, Kenya, the list. You know what? You should have stayed with Rashid Mahal. I could do the, the Muslim chauvinist thing. Whatever, girl. Rashid was fine, OK? Uh -huh. I would have been a bean pie uh -huh. mosque going, walking five steps behind his behind, wearing a burqa. <laughs> Listen, I've been listening to this new CD by Dr. Lawanda Phillips. Now, she says if we keep hanging on to this preconceived notion of, of what we think we want, that we're actually cutting ourselves off from our universal abundance. Mm. See, we hold on so tight to this image that we have of our IBM. Ideal black man. Oh. But she says that we've got to let go in order to let love flow. In fact, that's what it's called. Okay. Let go, let flow. That means you, Kenya, no more lists. Mm -hmm. Let go, let flow. That's right. Yes, and it's a whole lot better than keep hope alive. That's right. <laughs> OK, y'all. This universe go. is listening. Let flow. flow. Perfect, my love. Yes. So as long as he is black and fine. And educated and yeah. spoken. With a job, with a well-paying job.